Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked, and this is the last part of the tutorial aimed at creating a music video with automatic lip sync using AI. In this episode, we will see how to apply lip sync to the video we created in the previous episodes using a tool called WAV to Whip. I want to mention that we won't be using the official repository, but rather a fork created by me because I had to modify some scripts to ensure the processing of our video completes without errors. The issue was that with an anime style character, the wave to lip model often failed to identify the face and didn't know where to place the mouth, causing exceptions in his execution. However, after some simple modifications, I managed to make it work to the end with a fairly decent result. So, let's download the tool with Git. I'll leave the link in the description. After that, run this command in the console to install FFmpeg. Finally, run the infra.bat, which will create a virtual environment and download the dependencies. Keep in mind that I tested the script on Windows with Python 3.10 and an NVIDIA GPU. If you don't have Python, you can download and install it from the link in the description. The installation is straightforward. Just remember to check add python.exe to path so that Python is visible from any console launched on your PC. Once the installation is complete, you'll be asked for the path to the video file uh, to which you want to add lip sync and the audio file you want to use. For the audio file, I recommend using the vocal only track. After confirming these two parameters, a video will be generated, which you'll find in a results folder. At first, I was quite surprised that it worked even on anime models, but I believe the secret lies in the smiling tag I used in the prompt of the last video uh, to generate the video. In fact, I hypothesize that if our character is smiling, the position of the mouth becomes much more traceable for Waftelit. Now that we have our video, let's make sure there are no flaws. Personally, I had some frames where the mouth appeared too distorted, so I corrected them manually. In the results folder besides our final video, you'll also find a frames folder containing all the frames that make up our new video. For editing, you can use any software you prefer. Uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect edit since, as we'll see shortly, we'll perform an image-to-image -image procedure uh, that will replace the mouth and enhance the video quality. The quality that Waftelev outputs is quite terrible. Here are some examples of frames that I modified. In total, I had to edit only 17 frames to avoid problems. Now let's move on to the final phase, which is creating the video. Um, for this, I've prepared a very simple workflow that loads the images from the folder where we save them using the load frames from folder node. It then passes them to Ultima SD Upscale, which using both the Minamix and 4X UltraSharp V10 models in combo, outputs an upscaled and modified image while maintaining the basic characteristics of the original. I chose Minamix as a model because it's the same one I used for 
creating these frames and Altershot B10 because I've seen it does an excellent job with image detail coherence. Regarding the use of Ultimate as the upscale, I simply followed the technique suggested by the author, using the tile model of ControlNet but further reducing the denoise at 0.4 since at 0.5 it was altering the image style too much. For other parameters of this node, I think I'll make a more in-depth video in the future to help you understand advanced features and why images sometimes don't get upscaled correctly. Finally, I doubled the frame rate with frame interpolator and then saved the result in both video and frame formats just in case. Now, let's start everything. Keep in mind that this workflow is quite slow. So before running it on the entire folder, maybe try it with some individual images. Okay, if we observe the result now, you can see that the mouth is much less realistic than the one created by Waf to Lips. But in my case, that's exactly what I wanted since it doesn't clash with the rest and the quality has increased significantly. Now all that's left is to merge the audio with the resulting video. To do this, you can use any video editing software. I use DaVinci Resolve, which is available in a free version. And with that, we're done. I apologize for taking so long to finish this series of three videos, but there were really a lot of concepts. As always, my intention is to inspire your creativity and not to dictate how to do things. Having said that, I hope this series of videos has been helpful. If it has, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And until next time. Keep dreaming.